<laughs> I do a little of everything. <laughs> Uh, well, Chris, Chris is the, uh, he's the, uh, the big picture guy, you know, he's the one who, uh, <laughs> you know, the, he, uh, actually, he's, he's the one who stole my drawings, which put student bodies on the map. Yeah, I put student bodies on the map. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Don't touch me. That's a nice camera. Thanks. But we were talking about you. Right. Well, I'm Flash, and I take pictures. You used to work for the student voice. Yeah, used to. I'm a point-and-shoot mercenary. I don't care who I take pictures for, as long as they supply the film. <laughs> so, what would you say the zoom length is on that baby? Well, this? Oh, about uh, 20 to 1. Really? On that itty bitty little thing. Watch this. I can get so close, I can play connect the dots with his dandruff. So tell me. Congratulations. You just been flashed. Thanks. Why don't we get the meeting started? <laughs> First of all, I've thought about it all morning, and I really don't think anything's going to be different now that I'm in charge. <laughs> Except I won't have time to write my help me column, so, Victor, it's all yours. What? I, I'm expected to write advice for total losers? Look at the bright side, Victor. At least you won't have to answer all the ones you sent in. <laughs> My mother hates me. Oh, and my brother reads my diary. Oh, and I've never had a real kiss. Huh? Help me! Back to business. Flash, I know that you just joined us here at Student Bodies, but I was wondering... Pictures of last night's student castle debacle. The last one shows cleavage. And yes, Shepard, I made you an extra set. For my impeccably organized files. On to the cover. Cody, this is uh, really fun, except for one part. <clears throat> yeah, what uh, part? Fasten your seatbelt. <clears throat> well, uh, I think we can still be cutting edge without having to be so blatantly gross. Let's all play eyeball! is gross. Oh. <laughs> I get it. So, you think just because suddenly you're in charge, I'm going to become the type of guy who changes things just because some ex-girlfriend says to? Cody. Look, I draw the cartoons the way I want to. Eyeballs popping and all. Now, I don't know if you're planning to run all over everybody else here, but you are not running all over me, okay? I'm the cartoonist. Got it? I'm the glue. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm the boss. And guess what? You're fired. What? Meeting adjourned. Well, I'm fi I'm fired. You can't fire glue. Can you? Overreact much? <laughs> Now, you see what happens when power is abused? People get hurt. Oh, and that's what I'm gonna miss the most. In fact, I... Hold that thought. Mm, gotta change tapes. What? Sorry. No, wait! No, I was just getting started! I... I... No, come on! What was that? What was what? Cody, you just jumped all over Emily like she shot your dog. I don't have a dog. It's a metaphor. Your cover is a dog. Oh, great. So now you're attacking me, too. Well, sorry, last I checked, you can only fire someone once. Emily wasn't attacking you. She was doing her job, the same job she's always done. Oh, right. So, like, she's always criticized my work? <laughs> well, fine, yes, she has always criticized my work. But, hey, it doesn't really matter anymore, does it? Listen, 
I know you say you're fine with this breakup thing, but I think you've got some leftover stuff to work out. Both of you. Think about it. Before I get you a dog and shoot it. <laughs> him. That cannot be a sign of good management skills, can it? I mean, what's wrong with me? You made a mistake. What? That's right, Miss Roberts. Even you make mistakes. Now you have to fix it. Great. I resign. Great. You flunk. Let me rethink that. Wait a second, you want me to apologize to that arrogant idiot? Of an ex-boyfriend? <laughs> Miss Roberts, you can run. I know, but I can't hide. No, no, you can't hide. That's my point. Hiding is easy. <clears throat> Sometimes fun. But if you're dodging a bullet because of something between you and your personal life, then you might be making decisions for all the wrong reasons. So what are you saying? I should stick by my mistakes, try and patch things up, join the witness protection program? What? Look, I'm not saying anything. Like I told you earlier, what you say goes. You're the boss. And trust me, it feels good to be the boss. <laughs> I'm Dino. Nachos. Half price. With every soft drink. So come on down. Today. It's nice. That's uh, Dino. That's a good coffee, by the way. I'd buy you one, but uh, <clears throat> you look kind of busy, which is something I'm not going to be anymore. But hey, uh, early retirement suits me, don't you think? Did you ever work on the paper here? Right, the paper. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's uh, always an idea zoning out around here somewhere. <laughs> there's one. Mmm, the subtle aroma of Sumatra. <laughs> and this over here is my friend, Romeo. So. Hello, Romeo Carter. And I know what you're thinking. What's an A-class guy like me doing hanging around a B like Cody? Got. Lighten up, man. I'm on a roll. The way I see it, every gang needs the full complement of grades. And like I said, I'm the A. Cody here's the B. And have you met Shepard? Yes. Yes. He's the C. And the D. Mm. Of course, Romeo here grades on a curve. Uh, could I get you another espresso, sir? Absolutely. So, Romeo, do you work for student bodies, too? Well, I'm not technically on staff, but I do contribute the occasional article. You know, music review, that kind of thing. But the emotional anxiety down there is way too deep for me. Do you think they can all work in the same office? You ever seen a caged death match? Ooh, then you must have heard about Emily firing Cody. What? Man, that office is muddier than Dawson's Creek. <laughs> Go. She fired you? Oof. It was bad enough she didn't do the I love you back thing. But canning your bony butt. That girl got it in for you. <clears throat> Fade to black. Please. Don't do that. 